another video here we go so what's up guys uh, in today's video I'm going to be revealing the whole process of installation of ASI back on our Inokim OX I've been working with this controller for almost two years uh, it was hell of a journey it's not an easy controller to deal with uh, it wasn't that easy to get familiar with all the configurations in it so today I'm going to reveal anything I've learned in the past two years and it, it's gonna be a piece of cake for you guys to do that and I was thinking I'm starting electrical engineering studies in a few weeks so I'm gonna work half the time the money is gonna be tight if you guys think this video helped you in a way or help you to uh, reduce your costs so by ordering complete kits or uh, ordering some mechanic to do the job for you any tip would be great guys all right let's do it let's start Here I am removing this uh, triangle box because this guy is not gonna need it. There's plenty of space inside and he's not planning on building the biggest battery to put in and then two of the controllers will be here for both motors. This is not the case because this has only single motor and he's not going for the biggest battery so this is basically pointless and will just get in your way whenever you're gonna need to maintain your uh, system uh, imagine that every time you need to check something with the controller you're gonna have to disassemble this and then the deck and this just just uh, in your way for nothing Another thing, this little junction box that has these nuts inside that blocking uh, cables from the controller to the motor, these, uh, this box will only hold on stock battery and limited ASI controller because if you get a custom made battery and your uh, controller will be fully unlocked, this thing will melt. So if you're, if you're uh, going for full power, you should disable you should remove that and go with cables straight from the motor to the controller and use any other uh, high quality connectors such as XT150 or uh, bolt on uh, connectors also also good whatever that is inside just without the box so be careful this works with only with a limited controller and stuck battery Females are always on the input, um, I'm sorry, on the output. This is the controller, it outputs the current through these phase cables to the motor. 
So female will be always on the output of the power and it applies to anything. The, the main DC power, the phases, anything that has it, that, that is outputting current always will be a female. That procedure is pretty delicate. Uh, it's a little, little, really tiny terminals and uh, really tiny cables. So just make sure everything sits in place at the right distance. Don't shove it too far. Don't leave it. Uh... Oh shit! <laughs> you see, I'm just talking about it. And I destroyed this one because I left it uh, too outside, way too outside. This is Bafang cable. Uh, you can buy it anywhere on AliExpress, eBay. It costs about 15 to 20 dollars. And now what I do for throttle is I always use the male connector so it will be easy to identify it. This will be the display or uh, the on and off button. Two of these will be free for you to use for either it's a region break or anything else you want. Just free pens to wire whatever. And this will be the throttle. I have this as a reference as my previous from my previous builds but I will also post in the description uh, the exact pinout and the colors and where each of them go. So this is how you count the pinouts. It goes when you're looking at 
add the connector this way uh, the first one would be one on the top and then to three four five six seven eight and all the way to 24 all right as you can see 23 20, uh, 23 24 is our switch which these two cables all right so now I have this spin out table and I'm just checking for uh, the cables I need and I'm wiring them into the connector 14 now usually you, you think that if this is red and this is red it should be the same red right but no <laughs> unfortunately um, in Chinese industry it doesn't work like that nothing is you can never trust colors so what I did right now is uh, to make sure my uh, my throttle will work um, like from the first try I just checked wh what is my um, what is my uh, throttle signal which is usually the, on the throttle it will be white or green see I'm doing a continuity test and then you see why it becomes red down here so this is my throttle signal and not any, you know, any other whites or whatever you see this proves it so every time just check the colors because the, the manufacturer of these oh wait a second no it's actually the same it's uh, listen how stupid that is it's the same manufacturer same shipment same factory and they just didn't match it uh, by colors so check that every time 